Hello and welcome to Carlton Town TV. I'm Dean White and I'm here today with Joint Manager Mark Harvey. Nice of you to join us. It's been a couple of weeks since I last interviewed you, so we'll just have a catch up and yep, see how no it's problem. gone so yeah. far. Uh, obviously, you've been taking pre season training. How's that gone so far? Pre season training so far has been exceptional. I'd say uh, probably as good as I've ever known it. I mean, obviously, Colton uh, are a club playing at this level of football, and there's not many clubs around here that are playing at this level of football. And so, as a consequence of that, we've had a lot of players to pick and get through. Um, and that's what we've been doing over these first few weeks is assessing players who've come down and who's asked us to come down along with players who are already here and academy players and, and we, we, we've had 30, 34, 35 lads training um, and all of them have been involved in games and uh, as a consequence today we went with um, a team really full of trialists and a couple of lads that we know just to have a look at them, you know, to give them more minutes um, so you know the first team squad as is at the minute, um, had a good training session and then we, we played the rest of the lads to have a look uh, to make his own assessment on them. Are you enjoying your time here? Obviously it's your first time here. Oh it, yeah, I've settled in really quickly, uh, everybody's been very welcoming and uh, it, it's, it's a lovely environment, um, very friendly and really, really enjoying it so far. Good. Uh, you spoke about the amount of people and players who have come down to try and get involved with the new project I suppose. Oh, have you yeah. got any uh, like final numbers in the squad, do you think? Or? Well, not yet. I mean, we, we'll be looking at, um, you know, 18, 19 um, to be signed on as a first team squad. But we're also looking at um, a few of the a few of the younger, younger lads um, that are not far away, but perhaps not quite there, of getting them on forms and getting them out on loan to get some game time um, to, to really strengthen them up and bring them up to speed at, at this level. Um, but, you know, there's a few lads uh, that we very impressed with but we think you know they just need strengthening up a bit ready for our level but we wouldn't be frightened of using them if we had to um, so you know there'll be an initial you know 18 19 that we sign on um, and then a few that we get out on loan to get some game time and a bit more about the physics of the game and, uh, and you know physicality of the game have you got a time base in which you want to have your team finalized for ready for the first game of the season or a couple of weeks before the start of the season we'll be we'll be we'll have a squad sorted and they'll be playing the friendlies um, and then uh, and just getting them all gelled together as to how we want to play the next the next few friendlies will uh, you know obviously there'll, there'll be a few that you know we've decided on up to us and we'll move out and then we'll you know we'll probably have it down to 20 lads that we're using for the next few games now um, and see where we go and then we can make final decisions yeah well we've had a lot of pre-season and so far and a bit to look at yeah. um, how do you think the games against Notts County and Renneth have gone brilliant I mean uh, you know Renneth, Renneth was an, an interesting one because I think we used something like 27 players um, so you know we made sure obviously it was very early in pre-season and we got a lot of bodies so we had a look at you know I think most players played half an hour a few played 45 nobody played any longer but there was a lot of changes so to, to come out of the game the way we did with all those changes and constant changing of personnel on the pitch just is credit to the lads and and, and just shows you what strength and depth we do have in the squad. Um, Notts County we went with what we considered a strong squad um, and it, it was a fantastic performance. I mean, you know, Notts County put a very youthful side out but uh, they was a good side, you know, let's not, let's not beat around the bush with it. You know, there was a fast, well organised uh, side who would turn a lot of teams over and uh, we had a game plan we stuck to it and uh, the lads put a shift in and I think they deserved the win and but for a couple of good saves by their keepers uh, it would have been two or three uh, but that's no disrespect I thought Notts County was a very 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 good side I just thought we, on the day we put a real top performance in um, today you know we've gone with a completely different squad and you know against a good Oakville side we, we've held a zone and you know that's that's credit, you know, there's some 16 year old lads out there and some lads who've never played at this level of football. None of them's ever played together and, you know, we've sort of matched matched up Town and uh, give them a good game and I think that's that's credit to the lads as well. Yeah, it looks very good for the season to come, yeah. obviously good results against yeah. all of the teams. Uh, first game's against Lincoln United, how are you feeling about that one? It's funny, I know. Obviously, me and Tom have been uh, in the Premier League for the last few years, so uh, you know we've sort of not been watching this league quite so much. Obviously, you know Lincoln's got a good manager who's been around the block a bit. Um, likewise, he, he knows about us, 
So uh, he, he'll, be, he'll be well clued up on us and be expecting a tough game. I don't think there'll be any easy games. I think I think it's a tough league, it's an even league, and anybody who can string a few wins together at the start of the season will, will find themselves up there all season. So yeah, th there's no there's no gimmies in the league. Lincoln will be a tough game, and uh, you know I can't wait for getting started. That's the thing, and I'm sure their manager will tell you the same. Yeah, yeah. like everyone around here, everyone's yeah. really looking forward yeah. to new season. That first game of start in the league. Yeah. Start as we need to go on, hopefully. Yeah. Um, at half time, I saw you presenting trophies to for the young lads who've been here for ten years, yeah. along with uh, the new vice chairman Barry. Yeah. Uh, do you know Barry? Yeah, I'm, I've known Barry a long while now. Um, obviously, from his Grizzly days, um, I still have a, a bit of banter with him because. He went as vice chairman at uh, Shepshed and didn't give me the job last year. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I I've still, still keep abusing him for that. But uh, no, B Barry and his wife are, are, are top people, and uh, it's a massive uh, boost for the club to have them on board. And, uh, and I'm really pleased to see them. And you'll 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 see us having a drink with them every every game. Yeah, really, really good people, and, and the club is fantastic for Colton Town that they've joined us. How significant is it that we have the vice chairman now? I know Mick was chairman on his own, and the vice president last time stepped down, so yeah, it's it, a new chapter. It, you know, you look at the club as a whole, and it's the same people all the time doing the same, doing all the work, and and trying to get the sponsorship in, and trying to run the club. And you know, Mick needs it, and everybody needs it, and and the more people we can get on board, the better. And uh, me and Tom have been working on that. Myself, you know, we're, we're instrumental in getting uh, Barry in, and uh, and if we can get a few more down, it, that's all power to the club, isn't it? The more people we can get here, the, the bigger a family it is, the better it's going to be. So, uh, you know, we, again, it's another boost for the club. It's something he spoke of. He wants to get more people down here and involved. It's something a bit harder at this level, but of course it is. Yeah. As keen as yeah. you and Tommy will be. Yeah. Um, with the boys, obviously, ten years at the club. How significant is that for Carlton? But it, again, it shows the direction the club's been heading for a long time. You know, to have lads that's been here for ten years and getting presented with trophies for that, um, and and now they're looking, they'll be looking over the next year or two to be breaking into the first team and. That's the way that we want to take the club as a whole. You know, the club can't afford to go out and uh, pay big wages and bring players in from all over the place. So, you know, we, what, what we want to do is nurture lads, get them through the um, youth system and through the academy, and get them into the first team. And uh, you know, there's a couple of lads today played played that's come through the academy, and uh, and hopefully we can bring that on and get the best lads around Nottingham playing for the academy and get them moving into the first team. And the sooner that happens, the better for the club long term. Yeah, it's nice to you buy into the same uh, philosophy that the whole club yeah. is, and everyone wants to push their yeah. kids up and give them that yeah. opportunity. And if yeah. they can do it here with you and Tommy, it would be a lovely yeah. thing this, to see this season. But yeah. Thank you for joining us. And There's just one thing before we before we go. I just want to yeah. say, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I, I was I was aware of the bloke, but I didn't know him very well. But you know, Roy Garton, Mick's, Mick's dad. You know, I just want to say a special uh, tribute to him because. Uh, you know, by all accounts, he did a hell of a lot for this club, yeah. and uh, and is very sad and a loss to the club, and will be missed. And uh, you know, I know the people who know him all speak very highly of him. Um, I was never fortunate enough to to have that much uh, contact with him, but uh, you know, a special tribute to him to, to finish this interview. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Uh, speak on behalf yeah. of that as well. Yeah. Thank you for joining Thank, us. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers.